from Morara Kebaso Enlightening Kenyans. To Crazy Canar exposing the political class. The first artificial intelligence road that will be completed in less than one year. Are you a spoken word artist? Billion stolen under Ruto's government. And the amount is 70 million. Angi, kap koti moja, ni koti tu likuwa na ayo. We are coming for you! Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Terry. A Gen Z by the name of Morara Kabeso has been traveling around Kenya, revealing and enlightening Kenyans about the ghost projects that have been launched by the president of Kenya, William Ruto. Take a look at this video of Morara Kabeso. Mwishimua Rais, nataka ni kukumbushe kwamba hii mradi ambayo umezindua leo Kama kidogo ulikuwa umesahau, hii mradi uliizindua tena ukiwa naibu wa rais. Na hii mradi haikuanza na haikuendelea. Lakini tumefurai umerudi tena ukiwa sasa rais na umeizindua tena kwa mara ya pili. Tunatumai ya kwamba hauta kuwa tu unazindua zindua. Kwamba wakati huu kwa kweli, hii mradi itaweza kuendelea. As you can see in the video, Morala Kabeso he started with no crowds. But I will show you of this video of where Kenyans are appreciating Mwara Kabeso's uh, goods work. Take a look. Haters and stupidity deserve to be buried in the same grave. I show of this man from Embo County who was threatening Morara Kabeso Senior not to go to Embo County and continue enlightening Kenyans about the ghost projects. Take a look. If leo to machine up at the Jama at the Marara, Amani Morara, Amazi, my friend, we were waiting for you here. Hapa embo ya tutaki yo ujinga. Tunaona kazi yako ni kuchangisha pesa. Ukitumia. Eh? Mpinu ambazo sisi tunaona yo ni fraud. Atutaki kunjua yo ni wakiri ama ni nini. Respect the president. Na sisi kama watu wa embo. We know what the president is doing here. Anatufanyia kazi. Lakini inaonekana wewe. 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 Kuna secret players. Wenye ambao wanakulipa pesa. My friend. Ndiyo ukuje uwaripu njina. Tumekungonje hapa mbaati yako wa huku kunja. Na njaribu ukunje. Tutakungonje. Hata siku hiyo. Tutakungonje hatu. Ukunje hapa tukuone. Wewe mwenye kazi yako. Ni kungangana na kutukana president wa Kenya. Wanjamuri ya Kenya. I don't want to comment too much about this man. But what I know is that he deserves greetings. So if you know he, where he lives. And you know his phone number. Just comment down below. And he will be dealt with accordingly. Ama ni morara. Ama zijuin hini. My friend, we were waiting for you here. Apa embo ya tutaki yo ujinga. The world and Kenyans at large are aware about what is happening at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. I will show you of this video of Senator Onyonka blasting Deputy President Regadi Gashagwa live. Take a look. Your Excellency, how can we sell our airports? What, what is it? How can we take 14 airstrips and give them to an Indian company? Nobody knows the agreement and what has been signed. We have 5,000 employees with the Kenya Airports Authority and nobody knows where these people are going to go. It's not okay. 
tell the president we have no issue with him we only have a problem with his policies our country needs to be taken care of we are not taking care of our country so shout out to senator onyonka for blasting deputy president kachagua about the airport and the adani group later on on twitter morara went and tweeted and this is what he said the corrupt indians are finally here i don't believe this is happening our president who loves kenya so much is finally giving the airport to adani group for 30 years guys and like for 30 good years this is unbelievable it's not okay tell the president we have no issue with him we only have a problem with his policies moving on to the next video corruption is real in this continent of africa i show you of this video all the way from kenya in shanzu where this man was uh, detained for challenging a judge listen to what he said it is very unfortunate that i have to be brought into the court cell because i told the magistrate that what the lawyer for the accused was doing is completely unacceptable at this stage of the case the lawyer cannot stand there and start arguing a case bringing unsubstantiated issues and then when i said no i'm being brought into the cell what kind of what kind of justice is this what kind of justice is this the world must know i already know this accused has got the capacity to corrupt the whole system but i told her she will never do it with me she will never she tried to do with the police she was charged today she will not do it with god on monday Tete. thank you and the best of luck my friend i'm in the police cell at the at 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 shanzu law courts for what reason let this magistrate explain the reason why she decided to put me in the cell for what reason Simply because I've objected to the way that lawyer is making presentation. A popular comedian, actor, and content creator, Crazy Canal, all the way from Kenya, East Africa, he shocked the world by uh, making a video, a comedic video, revealing to how uh, Kenyan and African politicians behave. Take a look. I am proud to announce to you the first artificial intelligence road that will be completed in less than one year <laughs> the government is setting aside 10 billion for the completion of this project thank you <laughs> thank you So tell me in the comments down below how accurate do you think Crazy Canard is in this video? Thank you. Let us take a short break. You're gonna be right back. What's up, my good people? This is Dairy. If President William Ruto means it, because he said so many things, and I can't locate him these days, because the things he said during election, the things he's doing now, are too different. I don't know. Because I heard him saying we need to do away with the dollar and build our own currency, but his actions are not speaking to anything of doing away with the dollar. The latest being 
putting a red carpet for a murderer. Tell President Ruto <laughs> that the people of Palestine are what Mau Mau was. Tell President Ruto that the people of South Africa are what Palestinian people are today. It can't be correct that President Ruto knowing the history of this country and the history of South Africa comes and tells us that it's with Israelites. Let there be peace in DRC. Without peace in DRC, Kenya will never know peace. Now, some people here are saying that like, Ruto must go, man. Let's go! Let's go! What do you see what you got, man? What do you see what you got? What do you see what you got? What do you see what you got? So, guys, uh, uh, they are saying that uh, Ruto must go. Ruto is the president, uh, uh, current president of Kenya. But they are saying that he should resign from government. Kenyans, did you know that millions and billions of shillings are being stolen under your noses? I want to take you guys all the way to Usingishu County, where a Gen Z explains to us on how their politicians in that area are robbing them in broad daylight. Listen to this. Usingishu County, Honorable Jonathan B., there is a project entry at the audit report that has the title Governor's Residence. And the amount is 70 million. Angi, kap koti moja, ni koti tu likuwa nayo. Nyumba, milioni sabini. Ah, buwana. <laughs> hey, hey. Deputy governor's residence, 65 million. Okay. Umepita hili njia kapsereta, uko chini kidogo. Ah, la 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 la. So, do you see what happens if you elect people because of stupid reasons? Governor Judanan B of Singishu County, he was only elected because he already had one court. Can you imagine that? Nonsense. Honorable Jonathan B, there is a project entry at the audit report that has the title Governor's Residence. And the amount is 70 million. Kenyans have raised a huge amount of money for activist Hanifa. I've actually published a report of how 31 million shillings was spent during the reject finance bill protests 2024. Later on, she was asked, what does Kenya mean to her? And this is what Hanifa had to say. Listen to this. Uh, so I just have two questions. What does Kenya mean to you? Kenya is my country. I love Kenya. And as you can see, everyone here too. That's why we're fighting for this, because of the love we have for our country. It means everything for us. Our allegiance is to our country and not the government. So we are going to protect our country from the government. Yes. Kenya. What is your dream for Kenya? Um, my dream is a corruption-free country, a country free from nepotism, a country that has uh, you know, equal opportunity for everyone, a country that doesn't bully the poor, yes, yes. a country that you know, works for everyone. Yeah. Kenya ni wapi? Kenya ni home. Home ni wapi? Home ni Kenya. Thank you so much. Thank you. So shout out to activist Hanifa for the great work she has been doing since day one. And also, tell me in the comments down below, what does Kenya mean to you? Kenya ni wapi? Kenya ni home. Home ni wapi? Home ni Kenya. Thank you so much. A spoken word king by the name of Willie Oweba, he has been educating Kenyans since day one on why the country has to change and why the country needs good governance. I want to show you guys of this video of Willie Oweba's spoken word. Listen to this. Viva Corporate Viva! Viva Independence Coalition Viva! My name is Willie Oweba, I am an urban spoken word artist. The compilation of failure and success. We do most delicious meanings, squeezing music, press, don't smile, I'm gonna smile, could you press? 
Primilianzia Nax to Nai Saiko Ewani. Main body to the express. Achilles <laughs> Yosila Bolsan was his stress. Was it digress? Mkumuta was diverse. Wape had a chorus of diverse. Dear Mr. President, do you know the leaders of tomorrow are dying today? And that's not all guys, a human rights defender and a spoken word artist by the name of Benny the Poet also had a message to send to Kenyans and the world at large. Listen to what she had to say. Sovereign power belongs to the people, but it's too unfortunate to be Lady Jamie na power kuliko raya ina leader. In China ngozo kwa giza na tuna Kenya power, ni innocent people in this country wanazidi kublida. Freedom of expression squeezy ko limited to zero, na kuikwa soa serikali, serikali wanasema umetukana na kutukana. kana serikali ile wako unatutikana singependa kuongelele ile swala na ogopa maswara sina loya mi ila nimejaribu kunyamaza ila nafsi haitaki nikaona nilifanyia haki by tha is your abduction in a democratic country as well as let shangwe ningependa sana kuachana na kazi unarakati ili kujepusha na watu wasiojulikana ningependa sana kufanya mziki kawaida kama Nadia Mukami ila kwangu si rahisi hii ni sauti ya mnyonge anayetetea wala la hoi wenzake na si tazidi kwa thirika mambo inazidi kuchacha na nyinyi mmeshuhudia mnyonge ana haki sauti yake nani ataisikia risasi pekee ndio hukumu ya mkuta kijana asiyekuwa na hatia na wakiulizwa wanasema ni mistaken identity mistaken identity kweli <laughs> kinacho ni kwa zaidi ni jinsi bei ya bidhaa imepanda na upinzani umenyamaza sijui kati ya mtawala na mpinzani nani muoga hapa hivi ni mtawala anayekataa mikutano zifanyike au ni mpinzani anayekataa kuifanya wakati na jua ni yake yake sikuizu kingara tu kidogo kare wako na wanek waamini ni bidii na Mungu wanadhani ni wash wash ashinzi nyinyi bidhaa jinsi peni rais time afanye kazi mnataka nchi yetu ibani sasa ni mimi nafanya kazi, chini endele kufanya kazi, chini endele kufanya kazi. It is happening guys, it is happening. It is happening. It is happening. Wasa jua. A man staged a lone protest in Nairobi CBD after he was attacked by this gorilla which it broke his arm on July 16th. Take a look at this video. <laughs> Our brother by the name of Japheth Ulima, he seriously needs some medical attention and so he deserves justice. So if you love to help him, his number is on the video. <laughs> Jakaranda Grounds has been given Kenyan sleepless nights. As because of this video of the people there deciding that they are not going to support Ruto, neither are they going to support Raila. Listen to this. Raila <laughs> <laughs> amefanya vinyo nafanya vinyo naweza na i think vinyo nakuja kuongea i think wingo wa kupiga kura 
Ni wana wanaongea kitu kama hiyo. Mimi nakumbuka nilipiga kura 2017. Kidonda ijaye hiyo haiki pona. Nikapiga kura 2022. Kidonda yangu ijapona. Ikaongeza yani ya 2017 so tell me in the comments down below what you think about Raila Odinga of him being in previous governments and also in the current government do you think he's there to improve the life of Kenya and good governance or do you think he's there uh, just to eat and satisfy his own personal needs <laughs> Kidonda ijaye hiyo haiki pona. Nikapiga kura 2022. Kidonda yangu ijapona. Ikaongeza yani ya 2017 ya, ya 2022 ipata. Kama ijapiga ijapona. Wewe ruto wewe ni kupa wewe. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye. We're coming for you. Oh, you need to say that you don't give me.